She's in that movie saying, I want my gay rights. She started Star House with Sylvia Rivio. And Elizabeth he used to march in the parades. Yeah, but don't you know the time they didn't want them to march in the parade because they were drag queens and they thought it gave gay people a bad name? No. I'm yes, no, what happened was that Sylvia and Marsha decided, well, they don't want us to march in the parade. We're going to march at the very front of the parade, ahead of the banner. So it looked like they were leading the whole parade. So then what Harry Surprise said, hey, wait a minute, we can't do, we, we, we can't have this. We got to like have these no, drag I'm people march in our parade to too. Mikey had his uniform and his hat, and yeah. he used to wear the white gloves mm -hmm. and the white shoes, the, you know, like the buck shoes. Mm -hmm. And Mikey could really go. When Mikey came down that street, Ed Murphy put her in that limo ahead of the parade one time, or you know, well, was he would the, always be the head, head yeah. of. Of and he had all. And these, he, he, he my, when they uh, said they said a Harry Pride. And when Marcia came in and volunteered to sell buttons and to do things to raise funds for the Gay Pride Festival and parade and dance, they said all of a sudden they knew they were validated. You know, that Marcia's presence, she'd go out and sell those and raise money and do things we for the to community. Go Christmas Carol when we were kids. Oh, really? Because we didn't have money to buy our mother and father nothing for Christmas. Oh, so you you sing carols to raise money? Yes, yeah, so we go make somebody store carols, start singing. And how much money? Would you really get some decent money singing? Yeah, they would give us like a dollar or fifty cents. Uh huh. And Mikey would start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, was she a good singer or not? Listen, Mikey, Mikey, shut up! You're messing up. <laughs> and Mikey still would holler. <laughs> and they said, oh, isn't he key? <laughs> like That's Gary. what happened in, in, you know, the story in England that, that uh, what's his name, said that Marcia, first reviewer said, Marcia B. Johnson seemed to be the star of the show, but I must have seen, seen the night that she sang on an off note. So Jim, I mean, Jimmy taught her how to perfectly sing this song. She went out one night and she sung it and it was all right. And then the next night she went out and she totally slaughtered it again, right? And when she slaughtered it, you know, going off key or forgetting her notes or starting over, the crowd went wild. And Jim, when she walked off stage, Jimmy said, Marsha, why, you know, you knew how to sing that one song. Why didn't you sing it that way? And she said, they like it better this way. <laughs> Because <laughs> she was things. always real, people could see right. she was crazy. In a way, she was crazy, but it was, wasn't an act. It was real, and you know, people respect you when you're real. And that was her real secret. Everyone loved Marsha because they knew she was for real. My neighbor across the street. My mom died. She, she, you know, she took a liking to Mikey. Yes. Because he would always talk to her, you know, about the Bible and everything. Because he knew that Bible. He, can, he, he knew that Bible back, you know, forward and backward. He knew it. Because he was always in the church.